Hello and welcome to Zone 5 campaign with new BFM update. So we're gonna replay this with new BFM AI and see how it goes. So well in case you didn't play Zone 5 campaign is very cool, I'm gonna start right from the beginning from mission zero. It's pretty simple. We have a two ship and we're just going to recover at Nellis using the strict recovery procedures. So as the team of this playthrough to follow all the procedures and the play by the book. So I'll try not to over G the aircraft and win every time. Okay, let's engage autopilot. Figure for landing. Welcome to Zone 5. I'm Dave Baronic, call sign Bio. I have 2,500 flight hours as an F 14 Rio and was a Top Gun instructor for two and a half years in the 1980s. Recently, I've written several books that describe my experiences as an F-14 Rio and fighter tactics and weapons instructor. My website is topgunbio.com. The Navy started its fighter weapons school in 1969 to improve the training of its fighter pilots and Rios. The program quickly showed its value with a dramatic improvement in the kill ratio over Vietnam. The program has a continuing mission working to improve U.S. fighter tactics and ensuring that Navy and Marine Corps fighter air crews are among the best trained in the world. I've teamed up with Reflected Simulations to bring the fighter tactics and weapons experience to DCS. The title of this campaign, Zone 5, refers to the maximum afterburner of the engines in the F-14A. You will be using max burner a lot in these engagements. The time is 1987, shortly after F-16s joined the fleet of adversaries. To help introduce the new jet and to further its mission, we arranged a fleet support program, inviting one air crew from two squadrons at Miramar and two squadrons at Oceana for a series of flights. You must be good because you are one of the pilots selected from Miramar. Your name is Lieutenant Jim Rosa and your Rio is Lieutenant Frank Jester Gordon, and you are from the VF-28 Avengers. This part is important. Your call sign for the duration of this program is Sniper 3. Your wingman, Sniper 4, is from the VF-65 Buzzards. Crew is Pilot Lieutenant Ron Hammer Matthews, and his Rio is Lieutenant Hank Dice Dorman. Sniper 1 comes from the VF-4 Horseman, Lieutenant Kenny Lingus O'Brien, and Lieutenant Ed Vampire McCloskey. Completing your team is Sniper 2 from VF-221 Galactics, Lieutenant Paul Inch Morgan, and Lieutenant Tom Lefty White. You've received several lectures to help you prepare for these flights. I hope you were paying attention. You've also had access to reference material on weapons and tactics. You will fly 11 hops that increase in complexity, starting with one versus one or one V1, where you will test your air combat maneuvering skills against a single bandit. You will progress through flights where your section, that is two Tomcats, will perform realistic fighter missions and fight an increasingly challenging bandit presentation. You will then move into division events, where you will be one of four Tomcats against an unknown number of bandits. The program will conclude with two special events that will be briefed later. You'll be flying the F-14 Tomcat, the Navy's premier air-to-air -air platform. As you learned in the RAG, you can never have enough thrust, so energy management will be important, no matter which Tomcat variant you're flying. Rios will be working their magic with the good old AUG-9. While it's not the newest radar in the world, it has proven capabilities. In keeping with the 1987 setting, we will only use AIM-54s on a few of these flights. 
In those days, the Phoenix was mostly reserved for fleet air defense, but that was changing. Even with your impressive Tomcat, you must execute precisely. We will challenge you during the intercept phase of the engagement, and we will evaluate all aspects of your performance. In the end, it will not be about winning or losing. Our goal is to make you better training officers so you can increase the combat lethality of your squadron. But we also like to win, so good luck. We spent months putting this program together, and then last week Miramar informed us they will be closed for flight ops for two weeks. I don't know if they are installing a new sewer line or testing atomic missiles. Fortunately, our Air Force brothers at Nellis were able to accommodate us. So, welcome to Nellis. You will be spending the next three weeks here. And Test you will spend a lot continue. of that time in Zone 5. Nellis information. Alright, Bozo. We'll be landing at Welcome. Nellis in less than 10 minutes. Alright, so we're gonna do overhead break. Oh, well, it's about damn time. I can really use an ice cold Miller right now. Word. I'll check in with approach. Chester, push button 6. Okay. Now it's approach, November Gulf 207, at last peak with November for the overhead full stop. November Gulf 207, radar contact, continue inbound Nellis, expect the overhead runway 21 left, contact Nellis Tower, the initial. November Gulf 207, welcome. Just to select steer point three. Roger. Switching to steer point three. Friendly. Hercules. Twelve o'clock. Nine miles. Chester, tune Grand Tacken. You bet. Alright, let's tune to Tacken. Two one zero. King seven one proceed direct apex. Resume Arco straight in compliance restrictions. Alright, let's uh, decrease altitude to 4,500 feet. Need to actually hurry up a bit, kind of forget about that. Okay, at apex, going to line up with the runway. Chester, push button for. Copy. Nellis Tower, November Gulf 207, initial for the overhead full stop. November Gulf 207, Nellis Tower, clear for the overhead runway 21 left. November Gulf 207. Alright. Follow the instructions given here rather than rather than uh, one given by the tower. We land on <coughs> three one left. Okay, we're slightly off. So three thousand five hundred feet, wings back, three hundred fifty knots.
Now start low. And in a brick. And wings, speed brakes, gear. Flaps. Wings are 20, auto gears down, sass on, flaps full, DLC engaged, check, hook up, harness lock, boards out, sporter brake selected, fuel checked. November Gulf 207, a beam, gear, full stop. November Gulf 207, cleared to land 21 left, wind 210 at 6. Cleared to land 21 left. A bit too high. 400 feet. Traffic. Globemaster. 1 o'clock. High. 11 miles. 300 feet. 200 feet. Yeah, we're in the ground. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. welcome to Nellis. Local time is 17.45, temperature 70 degrees. On behalf of the United States Navy and the entire crew, I'd like to thank you for joining us on this trip, and we're looking forward to seeing you again on board in the near future. Now, take me to the Oak Club. <laughs> November Golf 207, Nellis Tower, clear the active via Bravo. Contact Golf 207, welcome. Speed brakes, flaps, wings, bump. And here's Bauer. And Spoilers are off. Wings, you can put it out. Chester, push button free. Chester, push button down. Copy. Start. And Fox Trot here. Eagles
That's the tree else there. Get that cut. Help me do. That's where we are. Let's park here. down procedure. Is there? No, there's no. Alright, so switching all the systems off, which we already did. Right engine. Check. Lights. It's waiting for five seconds, checking if wide still works. It works. Off. Oxygen. Seat. Trim. Zero. VFR has landed. It's a beautiful scan, absolutely love it. And this guy's on my last in the last campaign. And switching off left engine. That's it for today, see you next mission.